If you're looking for a completely free AI art platform or somewhere to start learning AI art, then this video is for you. I will show you how to use an amazing platform called Piclumen, a powerful AI tool that is completely free to use. Whether you are an experienced designer or just starting your journey in AI generated art, Piclumen is the perfect platform to bring your creative ideas to life. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to use Piclumen to create stunning professional quality designs that you can use for your print on demand projects. From its simple interface to its advanced features, Piclumen makes design creation fast, fun, and accessible to everyone. And it even has access to Flux Schnell model which you can also use for free. So let's dive in and discover how you can turn your ideas into amazing designs with this platform. Once you click on the link in the description, it will take you directly to Piclumen home screen where you will be asked to sign up for a free account. You can sign up using your Google account. Once you sign up, you will be directed to Piclumen home screen where you will find all the generated images that have been generated by other community member or uh, other Pick Lumen users. You can check all these images and if you click on any of these images, you can see the prompt that have been used and you can use it to create similar images or simply you can press on the like button to save the images to, to save the image to your likes tab. You can press on the create tab to go to the AI image generation tab. This will take you to another window where you will find all the previously generated designs. These are the designs that, that, that I have been working on, the images that I have created using Piclumen Realistic V2. And I'm going to share the prompts that I have used to create these images soon throughout the video. And at the top, you can see the model that you can use to generate the images. There are five models, the Piclumen Realistic V2, the Anime V2, the Line Art V2, Penny Diffusion and the Flux Schnell. And then you can change the ratio from this window. I always prefer to use the three by, by four window for print on demand. And then you can change the number of image images to be generated. And then there is the prompt tab where you can enter your prompt. You can also translate the prompt if you're using um, some text from another uh, language you can translate it in here and you can also use the prompt enhance to enhance your prompt so let's start right away by writing the first prompt so what i've been testing and what i found that works perfect with the piclumen realistic v2 model is to use a command that starts with design a t-shirt command and also a vector style if you write a prompt that starts with a design t-shirt, it guarantees a result that is perfect for print on demand. So for example, the prompt in front of you, the first part is design a fun t-shirt showcasing a hip kangaroo boxing with oversight gloves, vector style. All this other part that is highlighted in blue can be added changed according to your likings but the most important part is the first part to create these similar vector art style images so let's press on generate button and see what we're going to get and as you can see the result is perfect vector art style image that has plain background that can be removed easily to use for print on demand and Again, I'm using the Pick Lumen Realistic V2 model. And once you open the image like so, you can see that the prompt that is used, the resolution, and there's also a Remax button, a Remove Background button, an In Paint button, an Upscale button. We're going to test all of these tabs throughout the video. And these are some of the images that I have generated using the same prompt and the same command that starts with a design or create a t-shirt. You can change the style of the t-shirt, like create design a, a vibrant t-shirt, a modern t-shirt, a retro t-shirt, and then you can add the rest of the prompt as you like, but you have to make sure that the words design a t-shirt and vector style are part of your prompt 
at the beginning of your prompt. All of these images have been created using the same prompt and the same command that starts with design, a t-shirt, and has, has the keyword vector style. And this is how you can use the Piclumen Realistic V2 to create similar arts. Now to upscale an image, open the image that you want to upscale and then press on the upscale button. You can upscale the image either in a 1.5 or 2 times size. And once the image is upscaled, you can see that the resolution is higher and the upscale button is now highlighted, which means that this image is already upscaled. And we can also press on the remove background button to remove the background of, of this image. And this is going to create a new image in our creation tab without the background. As you can see, this is the new image. If we press on it, the details of this image will be visible on the right side. So this is how we can use the remove background uh, option to remove the background of any image. Now let's go back to our prompt screen and enter this prompt. I'm going to show you how to optimize your prompt. So if we write a t-shirt design of a monkey eating a banana a vector style, if we use the enhance prompt button, this will change the command that we have entered. It will still keep some parts of the the prompt so it's playful colorful illustration of a monkey it changed my prompt it's still the result is nice it's a vector art style but this is not perfect for print on demand as you can see so i'm going to keep most of the prompt but i'm going to start the prompt with design a fun t-shirt command and change or remove some parts of it and end the prompt with on a black background so this is my final prompt design a fun t-shirt showcasing a playful monkey joyfully peeling and taking a big bite from a yellow banana vector style on a black background and press on the generate button and the result as you can see is totally different it's a much better result in terms of print on demand style a plain background that you can remove easily and then use the image for designing. This is how you can optimize your prompts for the Piclumen Realistic V2 model. Now let's change the model to the Flux Schnell and use one of the prompts that has some text on it. This is a quick test of how the Flux model works on the Piclumen platform. So this is um, a prompt that has some text and as you can see the result shows text in a perfect way so let's remove this prompt and use another prompt that also has some text and press on the generate button and again the result is perfect in terms of text the design has clear text on it now let's see how to use the in paint option this is one of the images that i have generated using the same prompt design a retro vibrant t-shirt and you can see the prompt that i have used so if you open any image and press on the in paint button this will take you to another window where you can change the brush size and then all you need to do is to paint on the part that you would like to edit or remove or redesign like so i'm going to remove the width of the plane that is behind the penguin i don't like how they look so i'm going to paint on them like so and in the prompt box below we can add any new text or simply leave as is and press on the submit button and this will create or generate a new image in our create tab let's see how the image looks like and as we can see the 
the wings of the plane are no longer there. Yes, the sunset at the background needs to be fixed, but this is how you can change the parts of the image and you can still use the in paint option to fix the sunset at the background of the penguin. Now let's see how you can use the image style reference option in the Piclumen platform. So I'm going to write a ninja cat prompt when this time I'm going to add to print to press on the image tab and add um, an image to use as a reference. I'm going to use this old man ninja image that I have and once you do that you can choose between having the uploaded image as a content re content reference style reference or, or a character reference I'm going to use it as a style reference and then press on the generate button and this has generated four images of a ninja cat however all of the images are realistic images far away from the image that I have used as a reference so what I'm going to do now is to increase the strength bar to 0.9 and add an additional part to the prompt I'm going to add vector style and then press on the generate button and this time all the results are perfect they all match in a way or another the image that I have used as a reference perfect vector style designs of a ninja cat all of them are perfect very close in terms of color and style to the image that I have uploaded and this is how you can use the Piclumen platform to generate print-on-demand images in vector style images using the Piclumen realistic v2 model and the flux schnell model if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and you will find the link in the description that will take you directly to the piclumen platform thanks for watching